Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square uh, A, B, C, D. This square uh, consists of uh, this uh, green shaded uh, square uh, E, B, T, P. The blue rectangle uh, P, T, C, F. And finally, this uh, blue rectangle uh, A, E, F, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, rectangle PTCF has been given to us as 18 centimeter square, whereas uh, the area of this uh, other rectangle AEFD is uh, 42 centimeter square. And bear in mind once again that ABCD is a square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this. Uh, green shaded square EBTP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, green shaded square EBTP. We know this is a square so all these uh, side length uh, of this square are going to be equal. If I label uh, this side length uh, as lowercase a, then this side length is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a across the board. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, big blue square uh, A, B, C, D. And since we are dealing with the square, so this uh, side uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side. I'm going to label uh, this uh, a b side uh, as uh, lowercase b then this uh, b c side is going to be lowercase b as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, remaining segment uh, a e length is going to be b minus a so i can write this one as b minus a and likewise uh, on this side uh, this uh, segment uh, c t is going to be b minus a so i can write this one as b minus uh, a so thus we could see that this uh, a e segment uh, is uh, b minus a and likewise uh, this uh, segment uh, c t is uh, b minus a as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, a e segment uh, has got to be congruent to this uh, segment uh, c t and here's our next step. We are going to focus on these two yellow shaded uh, rectangles PTCF and this uh, other yellow shaded rectangle AEFD. And we can see one of their side lengths. Uh, this uh, side length uh, is same as uh, this uh, side length. So therefore there has got to be a relationship between uh, this side AD and this side uh, CF. We know the area of this uh, rectangle is uh, 42 centimeters square. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, could be written as uh, 42 times some constant uh, k. And likewise, uh, for this uh, rectangle uh, PTCF, its area is uh, 18. So therefore, uh, this side uh, CF could be written as uh, 18 times uh, some constant k as well. And now our task is to find the value of this constant uh, k. And now let's make an observation. We know this uh, side uh, is uh, 18 times k. So therefore, uh, this side has got to be 18 times k as well. So therefore, uh, this side is going to be 18 times uh, k as well. And since we are dealing with this uh, green shaded uh, square, so this side uh, EB has got to be equal to this side BT. If this side is 18 times K, then this side has got to be 18 times K as well. And furthermore, uh, this whole uh, side uh, BC length uh, has got to be this side uh, AD length. We know this side length uh, is 42 times K. So therefore, uh, this side is going to be 42 times k as well. So therefore we could see that uh, this segment uh, CT length has got to be 42k minus uh, 
this side uh, length uh, 18 K if we subtract that one that is going to give us uh, 24 times K so therefore uh, this side uh, CT length turns out to be 24 K and now we are going to focus on this uh, blue shaded uh, rectangle PTCF whose uh, dimensions are uh, 18 K and uh, 24 K and the area is uh, 18 and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to the length uh, times the width of the rectangle and once again our dimensions are 18 K and 24 K and the area is 18 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so our area is uh, 18 is going to be equal to our dimensions are uh, 18 times uh, k and the other dimension is uh, 24 times uh, k and here i'm going to divide uh, both sides uh, by 18 and here we can see this uh, 18 and 18 is gone likewise this 18 and 18 is gone as well so therefore we are ended up with uh, 24 times k times k is going to give us uh, k square is going to be equal to 1 and now I'm going to divide uh, both sides uh, by 24 so therefore uh, we are going to get uh, k square value as simply 1 divided by 24 so thus our k square value simply turns out to be 1 divided by 24 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square uh, EBTP and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to S square and in our case our uh, side length uh, S value is uh, 18 times uh, K so therefore uh, this green shaded square area is going to be simply 18 times k which is the side length of this uh, green square and we are going to square it and we know 18 square is going to be 324 times uh, k square and now we know our uh, k square value has been given as uh, 1 divided by 24 so i'm going to substitute uh, that k square value as 1 divided by 24 over here so therefore we could write uh, 324 times uh, 1 divided by 24 and if we simplify that is going to give us simply 13.5 centimeter square the area of this uh, green shaded square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 13.5 centimeter square in other words the area of this uh, green shaded square is going to be equal to 13.5 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye